everybody. Welcome back to another video. And today we're doing something kind of cool here. Um, I'm waiting for this Rams Niners game to finish so that I can do this week's NFL review. And while I was kind of scrolling around waiting for this game to finish, I came across this Reddit post, 2022 version 3 of Build Your Own NBA 12-Man Roster, um, by this guy here in the NBA Discussion subreddit, and it says, so we're back for another year. Some of you may have done this before and can just go ahead and fire away if that's what you want. For the rest, some background. I've done this the past two years. Here is last year's as reference. Recop being the rules, which are the same as last year. This is this year's roster sheet also. Okay, so here's the rules. You are building for a four-year window. The next four years and nothing else. Salary cap is $100. Work around that. Third rule. 12-man roster. If by the end this is taking too long, you just want to say any three $1 players or any two $2 players and a $1 player instead of spending time finding a specific one for the end of the bench, that's fine. Just factor that into your budget calculation. Unfortunately, this is not a 2K franchise. No settings to turn injuries and real-life factors off. Hence, factor in durability slash injury track record slash off-court dynamics and theatrics accordingly. In other words, yes, Kyrie Irving's Kyrie Irvingness is baked into his price. Uh, number five, there are like 400 players in there, but inevitably I know I didn't get to all of them. If there's someone you particularly want, but the price isn't listed, you can DM me slash respond to this asking for a price. I'll make one and include it in there. Sorry, but no rookies from this upcoming class or international players. And finally, for prices, is basically me weighing both my own thoughts on players and the general consensus on them. There are absolute players in there I wouldn't touch the 10 foot pole. I think their price is too high, but I tried to factor general opinions on players. So that's the rules here. And if we take a look, um, here is the sheet. Right, here's the sheet right here. Um, do I, I can maybe make this a little bit bigger. There we go, I get that a little bit bigger. 2022 NBA cap roster build, yeah, and you have, you know, as you can see, the top, Giannis Antetokounmpo is your most expensive player at $48, working with the budget of, uh, you know, 100 like they said, and then just to recap the rules here, $100 cap, four-year window, injuries count, off-course stuff counts, 12-man roster, right, so, can I type here? I can't. We're in view only right now. So here's what I'm going to do. Do, do, do. I'm going to pause this real quick. Okay. I got a piece of paper so we can get some writing sounds too. And we're going to start off right here. I'm just going to write. Embiid at 
four is fair. So Luka Doncic, forty-six dollars. Hefty price tag because we're already down to fifty-four dollars. Already down to fifty-four dollars. But with Luka, I'm getting everything I, I need. I have passing, I have playmaking, ball handling, shooting, scoring at three levels. Um, I'm really, really happy getting Luka there as my primary ball handler, primary offensive initiator. Alright, I'm going to try and avoid anybody over $30 now to pair him with because I'm down to 54 and I have to fill out 12 men. And I want to be able to go like 8 players deep on this bench. I want to be able to go 8 players deep and have good scoring off the bench. Mm, let's see. And a lot of these guys are ball dominant. Evan Mobley, Cade, Jalen Brown, James Harden, Jimmy Butler. Brandon Ingram at 25, Zach Levine at 25, Scotty Barnes, Cat, Pascal, Tyrese. Actually, you know what I think? I do think Ingram at 25, Zach Levine at 25, Maxi down there. Alright, I think I'm starting to get a picture of here what I want to do. I want to get, I'm going to get Tyrese Maxey and DeAndre Ayton here. So, uh, Tyrese Maxey is $19. Tyrese Maxey is 19 I'm really high on Tyrese. I think he's a great player. I doing here? DeAndre Ayton at 19 as well. I think those two guys next to Luka. Ayton running the pick and roll with Luka. Maxi and his scoring ability. I think that's a solid. Alright, so 46, 19, 19. I'm at 60, 75. I'm at 84. I'm right now at sitting at 84. So I have $16 to work with, but I have my big three. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Let me, uh, I'm going to pull up my calculator on my phone. Just because I want to make sure that I'm doing this 100% correct. Let's do 100 minus 46 minus 19 minus 19. 16, yep. 16. And I have to get nine more players. But that's fine. We're coming down. We're coming down. I have my big three. Yeah. I have my big three. And I have point guard, shooting guard, center. Now, having a better wing is usually a good thing. Something you want. But, um, Luca can play the three. He can play guard out of the three. So, let's see. Let's come down into here a little bit because I have 16. I'm going to want a guy. Let's start looking at the 7. Um, let's see. Do I start out my round? My, my starting lineup. Bobby Portis. Jonathan Isaac actually at my 4. Bobby Portis. I'm going to get more defense from Isaac. I have a lot of scoring. Let's get Jonathan Isaac at my four spot. My four spot. Jonathan Isaac is six. So I'm down to ten bucks. Jonathan Isaac's my six. So my starting lineup is Luca, Tyrese, Aiden, Isaac. Yeah. Now I need a small forward. Um, I can go for another six here at four dollars, but that doesn't even work because I have to fill in 12 spots. I might need to replace Maxi with somebody else instead of him actually looking at it. If I get rid of Maxi, because Maxi's 19, so if I go for a bit of a downgrade, maybe 
start looking down in here. Oh, gee, Anthony Simons, Jalen Brunson, Ben Simmons, Michael Porter Jr., CJ. Oh, actually, CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum's going to be my two guard because he can be your point guard playmaker off the bench if he needs to. CJ McCollum at how much? 15. Yeah. Doesn't play much defense. But, and we get $4 back. He can score. He's a great scorer at three levels. CJ McCollum. And I get, so now I have $14. Okay. So now my starting lineup is Luca, CJ, Aiden, Isaac. I just need that wing spot. I have $14 to fill eight spots. That's not bad. We gotta find a three. Let's maybe come down here to the eight spot. Quentin Grimes, Reggie Bullock, Emmanuel Quickly, K Love, James Wiseman, Fournier. Let's just look around here. Boyan, Gary Payton, Royce O'Neal, Max Struess. What Seth Curry? Let's see, six is I fourteen to fill eight spots. So the most I can spend on this player, if I'm going like with lower class players, it would be um would mean I have to go seven spots. So it's seven dollars, so I go like with one dollar place at seven dollars, so I could go I can go seven, eight, nine, I can go with seven on this guy. So seven on this guy, six allows me to get a two dollar player off the bench. Gary Harris, Bobby Portis, Duncan Robinson, five five. What do we have here? Josh Hart, Larry Nance, Kelly Oubre, Kennard, Matisse Thibel. Tucker, Gabe Vincent. That's five, five, and five. So we got um, Bat Bev, Gary Harris, Jonathan Isaac, Bobby Portis, Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson gives me some scoring. But I think I need to go defense here. I think I need to go defense here. So let me get Matisse Thibel because he's a really good perimeter defender. Him and Isaac would be our main defense. And we have Luca, Aiden, and McCollum. So let me get Matisse Thibault at 5'5". Five, five. Matisse Thibault at 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. So now we have uh, 10.5 million remaining. And I'm just doing this weird little running math on the side. But you can see, so my starting lineup would be Luka Doncic at the point. Um, C.J. McCollum at the shooting guard, Matisse Thibault at the small forward, Jonathan Isaac at the power forward, and DeAndre Ayton at center. That's my starting lineup. I don't think that's bad uh, for a starting five. Let's take a look now. We gotta get our bench. I gotta get a bench. I wanna have at least one kind of solid player coming off that bench. I have seven spots to fill. So, seven spots to fill with ten and a half. So if I go six at one, then I can spend three, five on a player here for like a really good guy coming off the bench. Um, what do we go like a bunch of two, five guys? Okay, a couple, two, five. Josh Green. Nazri West, Matthews, Dale Theus, Denny Green, Romeo Langford, Darren Holiday. Mello, JaVale, George Hill, three guy, Kevin, Mike Wiscala, Zach Collins, Dad Young, Dwight Powell, Peyton Pritchard, uh, Keon Johnson, Dario Sarge, Nikki Alexander Walker. Can I go? Let's see, let's just go up here to four. Javante uh, Montrez, Denny Schroeder, Alec Burks, Jefferson Jackson. If I go four, then 
I'd be at 6.5 to fill. Now let's go maybe. Let's go to Alexander Walker, Nerlens, Keon Johnson, Drum Clock. I don't know if I like like any of these options here. Three. Jim Johnson, Paper, Dwight Bell, that young DJ, George and the Anti Jerome, Batty Mills. Josh Green, Austin Rivers, Thomas Bryant, Drew Banks, Son, Kitty Bates, Diop, DJJ, Damien Jones. Um, man, Dennis Schroeder at the four, side five, night seven spots. Jetty DiVincenzo. Makes a good score to kill Alexander Walker. Nerlens. Or do I maybe? I don't want to get to CJ. I'm fine with CJ. Um, I just don't think I'm kind of in a corner here because I have five. I have to fill seven spots with ten half dollars. So six. So six, ten, five. So I can go four, five on one player. Then to get a bunch of one dollar players. Um, there's only these four or five players, which I don't feel like is really worth it. I mean, this year little, I think, can take a step this year, but I don't know how much. I go four. I'm going to go Dennis Schroeder as my bench point scoring option. Um, I think his performance in Euro Cup, uh, he got a job in the NBA. He's back with the Lakers. Uh, I think he's going to have a really great season. He's, I think he's probably undervalued at this dollar amount at four. I think he can play better than that. I know he played himself out of a big contract. It was kind of like a meme. But, um, like, you know, I think he does have a lot to offer. All right, so we can get one 1 1.5 player here. Um, 1.5 player... We go. Right here, Tristan Thompson, Tosh Gibson, Bryn Forbes. I think I kind of want a big uh, coming off the bench. Let's maybe go Moses Brown. Did he actually put up a good season last year? I know he was a Blazer for a little bit. Uh, we let him go to the Thunder, I believe. But he's a really big center. Um, He's like, I think he's over seven foot, or he's close to seven foot. Um, he plays for the Clippers now. He's seven two. He's twenty two years old. Uh, he plays for the Mavericks right now. Um, let's see. Last year in Dallas, he put up. Oh, well, okay. So for his career. He's played 92 games, averaging 14 minutes, 6 points, 55% from the field, almost 6 rebounds. Uh, in Cleveland, he had his best stretch so far, 14 games, 12 and a half minutes, 6.4 points, 64% from the field, 5.3 rebounds. I think as a bench big, I don't mind Moses Brown at 1.5. And he's young, he has a lot of potential to develop. Moses Brown at 1.5. Um, then we have to get what? Uh, five one dollar players here. Yeah. Uh, Garrett Temple, Trey Lyles, Kent Bazemore. Uh, give me five one dollar players. This is my end of the bench. Give me Bull Bull at a dollar. I believe in Bull Bull's potential. He's the 2K GOAT. Give me Bull Bull at a dollar. Give me Blake Griffin at a dollar. I think that'd be a good veteran presence for a really young team. I think he still has a lot of scoring to offer, uh, especially coming off the bench. Give me... Give me... Um... Give me Sterling Brown at a dollar. For sure, give me Sterling Brown at a dollar. I'm not mad at that. And 
let's see, that's one, two, three. I get two more one dollar players here. Um, give me that doesn't really matter. This is the end of the bench stuff, but give me uh, I'll take Ken Bays more at a dollar. I, he makes some bad choices, but I still think he can have moments coming off the bench that are decent. And give me Boban. I'll give me Boban at a dollar. I'm not mad at that. Okay, really, really quick. I want to see if maybe I can swap out Aiden for somebody who's slightly cheaper, but will allow me to get an upgraded small forward. Because Aiden's at 19. But if I can get another center, like if I get... Just looking for other centers here. Kristaps Porzingis is kind of funny because that did not work out in the past. Vucevic. If I get Vucevic at 12 and a half, that gives me six and a half dollars. And I can go up to a six and a half, uh, six twelve. I can go to a thirteen dollar wing. And I can get Clay Thompson on my wing. But Clay Thompson's probably going to be declining a bit. Jeremy Grant, Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy. He, does he play at the three or does he play at the, at the guard spot? I thought he played at the guard spot. Josh Giddy. What is uh, Josh Giddy? 6'8. Plays at the wing. Average 12.5 points, 42% rebound, 42 from the field. Eight rebounds, six and a half assists. But he's a pass first player. I don't think that's gonna work with having CJ, that doesn't really work. Or I mean uh, having Luca as our ball handler, having a guy who's a pass first player. Like Clay, but I do think Clay's getting a little bit old. Uh, there's just isn't really a wing at thirteen that I think like maybe Grant, but he plays more at the four. We already have uh, Isaac. Grant would be better than Isaac, but then we're looking. I'm just going to keep that lineup, okay? So I have a $100 lineup. And let's, uh, let's get me, oh, I'll come back full screen here. And let's, let's go out my starting, my starting rotation here, yeah. So we're going to go starting. Five, yeah, at the PG spot, we have Luca Doncic, yeah, at the SG, that shooting guard spot, we have 3J McCollum, gotta have him there, at that small forward position. We've got Matisse, Thibel, yeah, Matisse Thibel. At the power forward slot, we got Jonathan Isaac. Give me up just a defensive interior presence, Jonathan Isaac. And at the center, we have DeAndre. Aiden, DeAndre Aiden, that's my starting five. All right, and then we go bench. Yeah, bench. At our six man spot, six man spot. We have, oops, did not mean to do that, okay. Six man spot, we got Dennis Schroeder. Okay, he's our six man. Seventh spot. At the seventh spot, we have Moses Brown. Moses Brown. And then the eighth spot, we got all but Blake Griffin. He's probably going to be our third main option coming off the bench. Blake Griffin. And then the other two guys. Or the other four guys, rather, will probably.
probably get limited time, so there you have it. Let's pull it out. There you see starting five, Lucas, CJ, Matisse, Isaac, Aiden. Uh, CJ's your oldest player there, but I think he still should be a good player over the next four years. Uh, and then Bench, Schroeder will be good over the next four years. Brown will be good over the next four years. Blake, this is probably his last year in the league at that point. Sterling Brown pays more. Or Boban come in and take up his spot on that eighth seed. But that is my $100 roster. If you would like to try making your own $100 roster, um, head to the NBA discussion subreddit. Find that post and let me know what you come up with. I'd love to see the teams that you guys um, construct. If you do it, I'd love to see what you, you'll hear. Tell me what you think about my team in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, kind of a fun idea. Definitely enjoyed it, um, especially with the NBA season starting back up here soon. So seemed like good timing. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this almost every single day. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.